Howdy folks. I had a whole bunch of ideas for uh, videos. Then I got talking to Boorns on Instagram and uh, I got totally sidetracked. So today I'm gonna make pistachio orgeat. Now I call it orgeat. Some people call it orja or orge. I'm just going to call it orgeat from here on, and um, you pronounce it however you want. Now, pistachio orgeat is just like regular orgeat, except made with pistachios instead of almonds. Boorns had told me about uh, pepita orgeat that he made. That sounded kind of fun. Uh, I was going to do that, but then Auntie Susan um, thought that pistachio orgeat sounded like more fun, and so I went with that and did pistachio orgeat. You can make orgeat out of just about any nut. Uh, or nut milk. So let's go to the kitchen and I'll just show you what I did. So I just got these pistachios from the bulk bin. They are roasted and salted with the hulls on. You could of course use whatever you can get if they already hold, it's probably easier. Um, and I don't know how much this is, I just sort of eyeballed it. But um, the first thing I had to do was hull them. Uh, this wasn't too difficult but it did take a few minutes. Uh, so once I got those hulled, they were 156 grams, so just a little over 150 grams. That seemed like a reasonable amount. Now I just chopped these up in my new blender. You could use a Cuisinart, you know, a food processor, of course, whatever, whatever you got. And it doesn't have to be like super fine, but you want to chop them up to help the extraction. So once those are chopped up, we're going to put them into like a sealable sort of container. What we're going to do is put twice the weight of water on top, put the lid on, stick it in the fridge overnight, mm -hmm. and that will extract the nut milk. I used uh, twice as much weight of water because I find that the water soaks up into the nuts overnight and you lose a lot of the nut milk. So uh, I put in extra water at the beginning. Now the next day you just want to strain out your nut milk out of the uh, from the nuts. And uh, I got this straining bag which works really well, uh, but anything will do. Uh, the thing I like about the bag is that you can squeeze it and squeeze out all of the nut milk that uh, and you know to, to get a better yield. Now once you've squeezed out all that you can squeeze, I'm uh, just going to go ahead and measure this. came out to be 187 grams of nut milk. And I'm going to add an equal weight of sugar. Uh, I just use white sugar. I suppose any sugar will do, but I like to use white for this stuff. I'm trying to get the nutty flavor. I don't want the sugar flavor to interfere with, with the flavor of the syrup. And I just stirred this sugar in. Uh, you could put it on the heat if you wanted to, but I found that I had no pr trouble getting this to dissolve uh, here at room temperature. So I put in some rose water extract. You gotta be careful with this stuff. It's really powerful. I think I put in two drops, maybe three drops. Uh, it just adds a little hint of floweriness. I also put in some Rain Nephew Overproof to fortify it, keep it, uh, keep, keep it from going bad too quickly. You could of course use vodka, but I think rum tastes better. Uh, and that's it. it. Comes out this nice, kind of thick, opaque, nutty, sort of muddy green color. Uh, tastes really good. Really like it. Makes a decent soda. And, uh, yeah, we're ready to go. So we have our orgeat, now what are we gonna do with it? I tried a couple different things uh, just to experiment. First thing I tried was a tequila Mai Tai, basically a tequila based Mai Tai. Ends up being basically a margarita with sweetened with orgeat, you know, pretty good. But the lime really uh, dominates. Uh, I didn't really get a lot of the pistachio flavor I was hoping for, but still anything that is normally uses regular almond orgeat, you could substitute in this pistachio orgeat and 
it'll be pretty similar. You'll get a nice nuttiness, uh, a nice sweetness, and sort of a creamy texture from it. And that's basically what you're looking for. I also asked my friend Zach what I should make. He suggested an Army Navy, but made with Geneva. I guess they did that at a bar he used to work at. Now that sounds pretty good. Um, an Army Navy is gin, lemon, orgeat, and bitters. This reminds me actually of another drink called the Cameron's Kick, which is scotch, Irish whiskey, uh, orgeat, and bitters. Basically the same drink, except with different base spirit. Makes me wonder if this is like a category you could do. Any any sour, but just use orgeat as the sweetener. Um, probably come out pretty good, and a nuttier version of that sour. I mean, I'm not going to make every sour, but you could give it a try, you know. Try whiskey. So, for my Army Navy, I decided to go with this local gin. It's made by Freeland Spirits. They're a really uh, good distillery, woman-owned, and this gin is a Geneva style. It's not technically Geneva because it's made here in America, but it's, um, it's very malty. It's made with a rye whiskey base uh, as the base spirit that they're, you know, infusing with the botanicals. And um, it's got a real sort of unaged whiskey flavor to it. It's, it's really interesting. I thought it would do well in this drink. Sort of, sort of pathway between gin and Geneva. this once before with limes and I decided it was a little too tart. It might be just the limes I've got right now but you can see it looks pretty good. It's got a nice uh, sort of opaque creamy texture. Let's give it a taste. It smells very... It smells of the Geneva a lot. Mm. Mm. Yeah the lemon is better. The lemon is the way to go. Uh, this Geneva has got a real, a real malty backbone, which I'm really enjoying. The lemon goes really well, and the pistachio is again like a creamy, sweet nuttiness. You don't get a ton of like the actual pistachio flavor, but I find that happens to me too with orgeat. So, you know, with almond orgeat. Mm, that's a lovely, it's a lovely bracing, gin forward sour. And the Orgeat really smooths things out, and that's really good. Can recommend. Now, there's another drink I made. I was saying earlier you can make pretty much any drink that calls for Orgeat. You could just use pistachio Orgeat instead of for a little twist. The drink I thought of was the Japanese cocktail. Now, that's brandy, Orgeat, and bitters. Very simple. It's a very classy, classic cocktail. I decided to try it, uh, but I decided to use Aquavit instead just as a change of pace, and I thought pistachio and aquavit would be a fun uh, mashup, I guess. <laughs> I decided to try this new aquavit I got. Svol aquavit, it's their Swedish version. There's also a Norwegian version they make. They make it in New York. The Swedish one apparently has a little more of those licorice flavors in it. stir this. I decided to shake it just because the orgeat is so creamy. It does start to separate a little bit after a while. Well, I was right. This aquavit goes great with the pistachio. In a drink like this, you really get more of the pistachio flavor. It's not being interfered with by the citrus. And this is, uh, and you get obviously a ton of aquavit flavor, but it's, you know, 
it's kind of smoothed out. The bitters help sort of tie it all together. This is pretty good. This orgeat's nice. It's got like a, gives it a, like a creaminess, a creamy sweetness. Oh yeah, that's nice. I really like that a lot. So there you have it. Two options for you if you decide to make pistachio orgeat or any kind of orgeat really. Um, go out and try it. I had made uh, orgeat with cashews earlier. Uh, did a couple of whiskey drinks with those, so that came out really good. So I know you can do it with cashew, a pistachio, pepita, uh, almond, obviously. I don't see why you couldn't go to the store and just get some nut milk and sweeten it up, and then you know add a little rose water or uh, orange flower water, and you could make you know oat orgeat or I don't know what all kind of nut milk they got at the store, but you know, give it a go. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, and get at me over on Instagram too. We, uh, you know, we could have a nice chit chat. You can distract me into some other direction if you feel like it, <laughs> like Warren's did. And uh, go ahead and like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.